What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Meg, and I am back with another video for y'all. Look, if you are on this video, when you leave, I pray that in some form or fashion that you were inspired, motivated, and I helped you to cultivate your God-given skills, gifts, and talents. Welcome to the mob. All right, so before we get into the video, make sure you like comment and subscribe like the video y'all like it make sure that youtube knows that you feeling what you seeing that you cool with what's going on over here also comment on the video you know what i'm saying i love when y'all engage you know comment throughout the video it just shows me that you're watching that you're enjoying what's going on on my channel um that you're enjoying the video at the moment and also don't forget to subscribe that's the most important part Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, tell your family, this, that, and the third. And while we're speaking on subscribing, the title of the video has a lot to do with that. Um, with subscribing and people who come to this channel, what they should expect, okay? So that's pretty much what the video today is going to be about. It's not going to be a lot of you know craziness and you know what i'm saying like you know it's going to be more on the serious side but we're going to really talk from the heart um and talk about um me and what this channel is about in this platform what this platform is used for okay um but yeah like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and yeah let's get into the video all right so yes i am in my headscarf i'm not taking it off because I don't feel like taking it off, okay? I still look good, face still look good, skin still look clean. You know what I'm saying? We cool, we chilling. But anyway, what's up, y'all? My name is Meg. For those who are new to this channel, um, my channel name is It's Meg, and you, we are called The Mob. This is The Mob. First things first is why did I even join YouTube in the first place, okay? So, for me, YouTube was a place that I wanted to come to because I knew that I could reach more people here than I probably could anywhere else. Um, I've always wanted to be an advocate for voices that were unheard. I've always wanted to be an advocate and a friend to people who don't have any. You know what I mean? I've always just wanted to have a community of people who we could appreciate each other for what we could share, what we could give, what we can learn from one another. Um, I feel like YouTube was the best place to do so. I've been on YouTube even as a kid <laughs> for so long, um, but I didn't know at this capacity that you could do so much with it until, of course, I got older. And I was like, man, I got to do this. But it was a journey. <laughs> it was definitely an experience because I was so scared. I talked to one of my best friends named Christian, and I told him every time we kind of sat down and did like a check-in and a checkup. I was always like, man, I want to do YouTube. I want to do YouTube. I want to do YouTube. I just kept saying it. And I know he was tired of me saying, like, girl, uh, hello, just do what you're waiting for. But it was so hard. I was like, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do? What am I going to say? What if nobody watches? What if I, nobody cares? Or just, it was just so many thoughts in my head about why I shouldn't. And it took me, I know, I, I would say it probably took me about four years to actually start doing it. Um, but I finally got around to it and I did have a goal in mind as far as what I wanted to do for my channel. Um, which leads me to the next question. What was my channel initially about? So the first thing that I really wanted to do was reviews on different music, music that was like old that I probably never heard before artists that I'd never heard before, or even new music that has been released. And I was doing that for quite a while. Um, but then, not, I won't say quite a while. I, I will say I did a few videos like that. Um, one of which did really, actually a few did really, really good. Um, and I enjoyed it because I'm a music head. I love music. Music makes me feel like nothing else in the world matters. Especially in a moment when I'm triggered or in a moment where my anxiety is flaring or in a moment where I feel like I've, I'm not in that happy place anymore. Put on some music, just like that, I'm back. I'm back into that swing, you know what I mean? I'm back into that to that thing that, that gets me going. But I was like, I, I gotta I, I have always got an opinion on different music. And I'm, and I'm my my ear for music is so keen. Not everybody knows that. People that I've worked with know that. Like I can hear 
so many different things throughout songs and voices. And I've always been like a listener. And I was like, why not give my opinion on that? You know what I mean? Um, but then I also wanted to do mukbangs. I wanted to eat on camera because, you know, I said, I watched so many mukbangs. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm a mukbang. I did my first mukbang. I did some chicken and potatoes. It was great. Oh, it was fun. It was fun. I was just talking. And you know, I'm tending to stay in the third. And then I was kind of on. So I did mukbangs a lot more than I did music. But I kind of intertwined them a little bit. And then I stopped all together. Um, stopped all together. It took a year. My last video was a mukbang. Um, back in 2020, I stopped for a year. And then came back in 2021. Um, 2021 was like a lot of vlogs and, you know what I'm saying, challenges and mukbangs and just different stuff. Um, but I would say throughout the journey of YouTube, you always hear, you always hear, find your niche. Um, find your lane and driving it. Um, find what works for you and stay there and you know it of course when you hear that so much you start thinking like maybe that's what you need to do like you need to find one thing and stick to it but then i thought back to the reason why i joined youtube in the first place the reason why i joined youtube in the first place is because i wanted to reach a lot of people with my story with my personality with my love with my heart i wanted to reach people who needed to be reached and from like a little probably a little bit last year to like now I've been thinking like I can't do that the way I've been told to do that I can't do that by staying in one place um the goal that I have is so passionate to me and I can't do that if I'm only doing mukbangs. I can't do that if I'm only doing challenges. I can't do that if I'm only doing pranks. You know what I'm saying? I just can't fulfill my purpose for the platform if I'm sticking to one thing. And I understand, I totally 100% understand that in some way, they may hurt me. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that, honestly. I'm so cool with that. I understand you two don't know where to put me. Um, I'm probably in a weird algorithm. There could be a reason why I'm growing slowly. But for me, y'all, my heart is so big on authenticity. And my heart is so big on being organic. And I want anybody who comes here to want to be here because they see my heart. They see my soul. They find my spirit in a place where they can easily be attached to that and say, this person is... is different this person is exactly where i want to be and where I, who i want to follow for whatever reason you know what i'm saying i can't do that in one lane now does, does that mean i'm gonna be out here just doing whatever no like i'm gonna have some structure to my channel but i'm also gonna have fun like i'm at this point in my life as well in my youtube career i'm going to call my channel a personality channel this is strictly a personality channel to help inspire you, to help motivate you, and to help cultivate your God-given skills and gifts and talents. What does that mean, though? Inspiration is you looking to somebody who is doing what you want to be doing. Or you looking to somebody who is helping you come out of that place and is helping you push to that next level without them even knowing you know what I'm saying? You just, it's being an inspiration to somebody is them watching you and saying, this is who I want to be my blueprint. I want them to be my blueprint because they're doing exactly what my heart so desires. That is, does that mean you got to do it just like me? No, but that means I am motivating you enough to where I'm going to, you're going to say, I'm going to get up off my butt and do something today. I'm going to get up off my butt and make a video today. I'm going to get up off my butt and go to work because this person is so passionate about what she does or whatever the case is. And cultivation is all about understanding that 
you have something inside of you that needs to come out. God planted a seed inside of you, and that seed is designed to bloom and blossom into the beautiful flower that God has designed you to be. And I, I want to help you see that. You know what I mean? I, I want to help you understand that you have something so special about yourself. Nobody else may see it. You may not even see it at the moment. But eventually, if you're around me, if you're connected to me, everybody's bound to win. And that was God's promise to me. God's promise to me was anybody attached to me will win. So if you're here, you see something special in the channel in me and my family and my friends that you say, I want to, I want to stick this out. Not because you can see me scarf down 10 tacos in 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Not because I can prank somebody over and over again and get the same reaction. Not because of that, because you see me for me, you know what I'm saying? And that's what this channel is literally going to be about. And if that means it's going to be harder for me to come up with ideas, I understand. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to push even harder to make sure that I get out content that makes sense, that also attaches to my purpose, attaches to my goals, and will reach whoever needs to be reached. I have a platform right now. I have a, I have a people, I have a group of people right now who <laughs> have, who, who have lived, who have literally shown me why I can't stop with that goal. Who who have literally shown me why I can't give up on that goal. Because it's easier. It's always gonna be that that somebody or that person who's like, this is the reason. You know, you expect your family to support you, you expect your friends to support you. This is what you expect. You expect your, you know, your partners to support you, your husband, your wife, your whatever, whatever, your brothers and sisters. But when you have a goal to reach people who you've never met before, you're doing something right. And I've never in my life met T. Hobart. I've never met her. Don't even know. I know how she looks, but I never see. I haven't seen her face before. But it's like she has shown me why this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This goal cannot be changed because it's easy to do one thing and run with it. I can't change my goal because it's it's more feasible for YouTube to to give me a crowd. You know, she is she is, has shown me that this is the exact reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. She, this is the exact reason. She she said this channel helps me in so many different ways. But I appreciate all of y'all. I appreciate everybody who is here who sees my heart. It don't matter what I post. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what I post. It could be a it could be a mukbang. It can be a vlog. It can be me going live at a random time in the day. It could be anything and you're gonna watch it because you love me for me. And I can't change that. So that whole niche thing, that whole find your place thing. And and let me say this, because I don't want anybody to take it out of context. You can reach people in a niche. You can reach people in a certain lane, right? You can do that. I'm not saying that you can't. But there's also other people who need you who won't see you in that lane. You know how you, say for instance, you catch a bus, right? You catch the bus every day to work. Taking the same route on that one bus every day. See the same people. You see somebody that you see every day. Y'all start sitting next to each other and having conversation. How was your day? How was your this, that, and the third? And then all of a sudden, you say, hey, I got to make, I gotta run an errand. Which means I need to get on another bus. And on that bus is someone that you've never seen before who needed you in that moment. Who needed to see your face. Who needed to see your smile. Who needed to hear your how are you. They needed that. And the reason why you were able to reach them is because you changed your route. <laughs> ah! Y'all know my preacher for real in real life. But, no. Nah, and that's a, that's a real thing, man. That's a real thing, man. And I'm struggling with that because I don't, I'm growing slowly. But I know I'm growing organically at the same time. 
And it was if it was a struggle because I was like, I should be way further than where I am. But it's cool because people are coming here who really enjoy me. And they really want to be a part of the mob and what the mob means and what the mob stands for. No, and I just can't do that with just doing one thing every day. I had to change up. I had to see. The world has to see that there's so much more to a person. There's so much more to the world. You know what I mean? You know how many things are on YouTube and people who are on YouTube just doing one thing? Yeah, they you well know, they got a they got an audience. They got a they got a, people who love it and want to see it and don't want to see anything else from them. I get that, but the world is so much bigger. This platform is so much bigger. It's like growing up in Memphis and never want to leave Memphis. Wow, like, come to Nashville. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go to Arkansas. You know what I mean? Take your time and go and, and inch further and inch further and inch further until you eventually see the whole entire world for what it is. And you're going to expand your horizon to so much more. To so much more. And that's just my take on that. You know what I mean? That's just my take. I know this is a weird, this is a different video. But I just really had it to make sure that I announced that because it's been on my heart heavy. Um, the whole niche thing is just, it's not me. It won't be me. Um, I don't know what God has planned for me later on. Things may change. You never know. But right now, God is telling me that I can't fulfill my purpose on YouTube. Um, and I'm not walking my purpose. Right? So, yeah. That's that. I love y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching and for listening. Um, if you have made it this far, leave me a white heart in the comment. Um, Y'all know black hearts is my thing. But leave me a white heart in the comment. Um, yeah, do that for me. And, um, yeah, remember, like, we always mobbing. The mob is always mobbing. The mob is always pushing forward. The mob is always grinding, forever hustling. We don't stop. We move steadily forward. And I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Um, and I'll see y'all next video. You did? Peace. Peace, makers out. Get out of here.